Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I wanted to talk about something that I think is fundamental and it's basic for um, working well with object-oriented programming languages such as Java, which is with what I'm using in this tutorial, but this can apply for C++, uh, C-oriented, uh, what any object-oriented programming language, okay? So this is a very basic script and create a person p1 you know, equals new person blah 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 uh, system on print line uh, you get name and it's basically you want to print the name of the person and what the person class looks like is like this so we have uh, we declare uh, some names uh, and a name and age a gender and id and here we initialize them and i have a different constructor just for changing the name for an exercise that we'll do later at the end of the video and I just uh, use the getter just to be able to interact a little bit with with it so basically the default uh, value for name is John okay so if I run this it's going to print out John okay so basically what an, a, a diagram what a diagram looks like would be um, P1 will point at something that looks almost like a square, but it doesn't. It has round edges. Okay, and this would be P1 two points per sin. And I think you should be familiar with diagrams um, for just understanding uh, when you need to abstract uh, when you need to solve a problem you need to do a lot of abstraction in your mind um, so basically being familiar with these kinds of diagrams could help for some of some problems so basically what this would show would be uh, these these uh, string I'm just going to put SDR um, name Um, actually, well, we could skip the STR part, and this would be John. And the int age, which is 40. Gender, well, I forgot. You, you don't need to put the uh, STR in the end. This is just, um, just as a reminder, I guess, um, and the ID equals five, four, six, three. Okay. So basically, that's what's happening. Very, very, very simple. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. So what if we created a second person, a P two, and we equal P one to P two? So basically. basically we would create again another instance which is pointing to basically the same thing person and it's the same stuff as here okay but what happens if we equal p1 to p2 that is person 1 to person 2 Basically, the P1, instead of pointing to here, it points down here to the other one, to the one that the P2 is pointing at. And basically, the compiler, what does with this, just destroy this. It destroys this. So basically, this becomes unreachable, and this is deleted. It's, it doesn't, it does, it's not in the memory. It's not allocated in the memory. You cannot access these values i mean even though they're the same as in p2 but let's just say that you set uh, the name to mary uh, the age to 20 the gender female the id to whatever the case may be you could not access that information unless you have a copy of it okay so have that in mind so let's go to the second part and this doesn't have to do with object 
but it will help it will help you understand the next exercise so basically we have a method which is swap and it's going to swap the int a and the int b okay and basically auxiliary equals a a equals b b equals b equals auxiliary so we do here we create an x and a y two and four and we do swap x and y and we want to print out x and y so what do you think this is going to print two space four or four spaces two so think about it pause the video if you need to you might as well just try to code it yourself and see what happens and well i want to run it and you might be surprised it's two for it actually then swap it and why did it not swap the information okay that's very simple so basically we are actually swapping the parameter the parameters okay the values of the parameters but we're not changing y and x we're not even though we pass y and x, the x and the y okay so that's i know this is a beginner exercise but i think it's very important so let's go to the last exercise and basically i did i created two persons and i initialized a as new person mary which this means uh, i have a um geez what do you call them um not creator um constructor sorry um kind of tired today so please bear with me um so basically uh, if you pass a name it's going to a string it's going to place it in the name okay so nothing complicated so basically um we use system out print b so well we equal b to a okay so basically what we're doing and i want you to do here let's do a line for separating um so we basically create another blob try to be faster this time and it's a person blah blah, blah. and the only thing that changes is, is the name which is mary and this is the same stuff and we also create b but b instead of pointing to another object it points to a okay so if we get the name of b which is pointing at a remember it's not going to it's going to print mary okay and and the reason is because we are literally uh, copying the values of a to b okay and that's the way even if we did person b equals new person um i don't know um bob if we run this it's still going to be mary okay because in this case what's happening is first we before b points to uh, the instance of a it creates a not another blobs with the another blob b person blah blah, blah and it does name bob but this gets destroyed the access to this gets destroyed just like in the previous exercise the first exercise sorry okay and this gets deleted in the memory and i just wanted to make a video about this because i think it's essential for like optimizing and just having better results uh, with your object oriented programming so even i know this is kind of a beginner and a bit boring but i really hope you get something out of it and i will get back to you doing like actual coding videos so thanks for watching thanks for bearing with me and if you enjoy this consider subscribing liking or disliking if you didn't like it and if you have any suggestions or any questions about a certain topic about programming you can leave a comment down below 
and I'll make sure to try to make a video or at least help you out with that problem, okay? So thanks for watching again, and see you in the next one. Bye.